this is Roy and this evening I'm going to teach you something about rigid body simulation. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So open Blender, then click A and delete everything. That's it. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using this Blender grid add-on. So in here, I'm going to search for a speaker. So in here, I'm going to choose this speaker, Bluetooth speaker. So I'm just clicking it so our bluetooth speaker is here so nice in here i don't want this empty so i'm going to delete it uh so and click a and gz and just bringing it up and clicking s and scaling a little up okay nice well so we got our model here so if you check here you can see this model is not one mesh it's piece with different different pieces okay so we have to join it for that just select our model and click A then Control J so you can uh, make that into one mesh that's it after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to the physics properties in here I'm going to activate rigid body and in here you don't have to change any of these options so leave it as default then I'm going to click shift D duplicating it after that let's try playing this you can see our uh, speakers are falling down so this is not what we want for that I'm going to add a force field uh, first I'm going to add a turbulence then let's try yeah definitely it will go down because our gravity is still enabled so we have to disable the gravity to do that in here in the scene properties tab you can see rigid body world in here go here so open this option then in the field weights give a zero value to our gravity and keep other options as default that's it now let's try playing it you can see our model is slowly falling because the strength is very low for that i'm scaling the turbulence then uh, so one thing i forgot we have to apply the scale to our each object to do that Control a then click on scale that's it so do this with every other object then i'm going to click my turbulence then go to physics properties and giving a value of 10. now let's preview it okay now there is some visible movements yeah so that is done but if you look at here you can see our object are going apart not it's not coming together to make these objects come together we need another force field so shift a and force field and go to force and select this then go to physics properties and give a value of negative 10 voila let's try now you can see our speaker is attracted to each other so it's coming in a nice place right if you look at here you can see our speaker is still falling down so let's reduce the strength of our turbulence so keep it five or something that's it after selecting our force field then give a value of 0.5 to the flow and keep everything as default that's it then i'm going to reduce this value into three for our turbulence and keep everything as it is if you want to follow the exact values which i given in the physics tab you can use that also but make sure to play with the other values and everything so you will get plenty of other different different simulations so make sure to play with every values and everything and preview it and understand what's happening what's what all changes are happening so that's it now let's go to the lighting part for that shift a um importing a light and s scale activate in this option keeping it here r rotate and i'm keeping it like this cool and i need a camera also shift a oh what did i just click okay shift a camera and i'm keeping it over here and control alt zero and shift f i'm adjusting my camera looks cool then uh, go to our render properties and I'm changing into EV into cycles GPU and giving a low value it's maximum samples I'm giving 64 and for the render I'm giving to 128 
and for the noise threshold 0.1 and go down and navigate to motion blur okay go down and navigate to performance make sure to check this option and versus data this is 10 data okay so make sure to do these options then your rendering your rendering will be much faster now let's go to our camera view then let's go to our render preview mode so you can see something is not okay so go here in our world cell properties and i'm keeping the value in zero and i'm clicking my light and going here giving a value of 2000 so now you can see the uh, we give a big light in the behind of our speaker you can see a small edges of our speaker is visible so it will give a good touch to our renders now let's duplicate this light for that shift D I'm duplicating it and click R and Z rotating it into this side giving it over here so and I'm reducing the value into thousand no 500 no 100 okay 100 is fine i guess that's it for our lighting i'm not going that much deep into the lighting part so i'm just giving a normal thing so uh now let's click f12 and make a render if you look at the render you can see there are some emissive things on our speaker like uh blue lights and stuff like that so it will be good if we add some glow to those lights so in the cycle render engine there is no glow in the default settings so we have to composite it so let's see how will we do that so i was already compositing it so in a way in here in the use node tab if you check this you will get these two nodes okay after that shift a uh we need a viewer node shift a we need a glare node then we need a lens distortion or cool so i'm keeping it like this see okay but this type of glow this is not what we want so in the glare tab sorry in the glare node i'm going to change into four glow and quality into high and size i'll give about six that's it and in the lens distortion I'm going to give a uh, in for the distortion I'm going to give 0 0.05 and for the dispersion I'm going to give 0 0.1 nice and check this fit button so that's it for our composition then you can go to our output properties and give a output where you want to save and stuff like that so I'm rendering it as ffmpeg video format and uh, uh, if you are rendering in this format make sure to go here in the encoding tab and change it so it will be matroska so change that into mpeg4 and in here in the video uh, quality it will be perspective lossless or something either you can go for this or you can go for high quality and after that go to render and render animation that's it <music>